So this is homemade fireworks, and I have three chemicals here. I have ammonium nitrate, I have zinc dust, and this is an ammonium chloride. So this is going to act as my catalyst, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these three, and then I'm going to add a couple drops of water, and that's going to create the effect that I want for my firework. Um, the ammonium nitrate in particular is very dangerous. So is the zinc dust in terms of storage. You don't want to keep this next to anything else. There's a lot of different things that can mix with it to form explosives. Um, the zinc itself needs to be steered away from water. So, so both of these things are not something simple. So you don't want to try this if you're not capable, which probably means you won't have the access to it anyways. So what I want to first do is take the three things, and just mix them together. You don't want to mix until you're ready for this to go because this can get set off really easily. It could set off by a drop of water. Okay, so I'm just going to pour those three things together. And I'm going to move the rest of it well out of the way. And then I'm going to take the scoopula I used to measure this out. So I did 8 grams of the ammonium nitrate, 8 grams of the zinc metal, and then I've added a gram of the potassium, or I'm sorry, ammonium chloride catalyst. So let's give this a nice mixture. So really at any point this will be easy to set off, so just grinding it together we need to be careful. Okay, and let's try and put it back into kind of a form. And then let's put a little divot there. So when I add the water, it's actually going to initiate this by uh, reacting with the zinc. And that's going to release enough heat to melt the ammonium nitrate, which will then be able to do the reaction. So we're just going to add a couple drops. And then we're going to back up. 